What's up guys? Quick update, adding some shelving units to get some stuff a little more organized. Engine block started the cleanup today, pulled out plugs, bearings, all the freeze plugs. Just trying to get it a little cleaned up, saving some money, not paying for someone to do some hot tanking when we can probably clean it up uh, as good as we need to. Another update, the rest of the kit has been ordered. So the complete kit comes without engine, transmission, driveline, wheels, and tires. We've got the engine. We've got wheels already over here. Should have seen some of the other videos. But we've got the Halibrand style wheels sitting right there. Tires are older later so they don't just rot sitting. And then we need to do the transmission. Once that's all mounted in we can get the drive shaft custom made because it's going to be real short length drive shaft that usually has to be custom made one thing to note since i started building this cobra and doing these videos antique and collectible autos their price for the full kit has gone up about three thousand dollars when i started the videos, i think i mentioned that this kit Minus the rolling chassis components, which I still do not recommend that you buy. Uh, unless you just want to make it real easy getting everything from one place. But I think bang for your buck, you can still get better parts by kind of going my route. And buying those rolling chassis components that they uh, want to sell you for like $3,000 or so. Buying it on your own. Uh, but the total cost of the kit now has gone up from $10,999 to... 13 950 something like that basically they had a price increase of three thousand dollars so still ordered the rest of it it is still hands down seven thousand ten thousand or more cheaper than every other kit manufacturer on the market but i just wanted to update you guys as i got new information so we're going to continue working on this block i'm going to do a main video on that sometime soon and keep it going. Thank you guys for watching.